Yo, what is up guys? Stale Boy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. So Johnny Fisher defeats Harry Armstrong by a 7th round TKO to win the Southern Area title at heavyweight. Johnny Fisher now moves to, I believe, 10-0 with 9 knockouts. This was certainly Johnny Fisher's hardest fight of his career to date. Harry Armstrong is a very tough guy. Again, not of a high level, as we know, but has a very good chin. He's very durable. And he went in there and actually gave it a go, showed good heart, actually gave Johnny Fisher some trouble in this fight. And all in all, I think it, it should serve as a good learning experience for Johnny Fisher. However, it does also uh, expose how, how raw Johnny Fisher really is. You can tell this guy had very little amateur pedigree. You can tell there's very little seasoning there. And yeah, there's a hell of a lot to work on when it comes to Johnny Fisher. This is the level in which he should be fighting at for the foreseeable future. He actually started this fight really well. Came out like a bull in the china shop. Romford Bull, you know. Uh, he caught uh, Harry Armstrong early on. It was like a hook come jab. Left jab. Uh, that rocked Harry Armstrong. Johnny Fisher then goes in all crazy, winging punches, misses a few, then lands a couple. It drops Harry Armstrong hard. Uh, big shots. But Harry Armstrong beats the count. He takes it well. And he dusts himself down and continues to fight. And after the knockdown, I actually felt he closed out round one pretty well. Landed a couple of good jabs on Johnny Fisher. Things of that nature. And after the first round, I felt he had a good second and third round. I felt he was more active with the jab than Johnny Fisher. You know, these jabs weren't anything crazy, just sort of quick light jabs. But they was, you know, uh, catching Johnny Fisher. Occasionally, um, Harry Armstrong would follow through with his right hand. But again, Harry Armstrong's not a puncher, not, mu not much on these shots. But he was catching... He was catching um, Johnny Fisher, especially in rounds 2 and 3, but all throughout this fight, he just couldn't really make it count. But it did go to show, um, you know, defensively, Johnny Fisher has a lot to work on. At times, I felt he, he was carrying his lead hand too low. When he did have his guard up, his guard was too wide, and Armstrong could jab through it. So Armstrong was able to uh, he was able to uh, find the holes in in Johnny Fisher's defense. He just never had the power. And obviously, when Johnny Fisher got a bit too wild, you know he would kind of make Johnny Fisher reset with the jab, that sort of thing. And yeah, really, what won this fight for Johnny Fisher was his strength, his superior power. Because although again Armstrong was landing shots, the shots that Fisher were landing were much more hard. Uh, what Fisher was doing well at times. This is the only thing I kind of liked from his performance was that sometimes he'd fake the right hand to the head and then come down to the body with it and then follow through with a left hook to the body. On the occasions he went to the body, he actually had some good success against Harry Armstrong and he actually disguised those attacks quite well by fainting to the head. But there wasn't enough of that in this fight. Most of it was just Johnny Fisher loading up trying to land his best Sunday punch kind of thing. Every single shot loading up. There was a lack of a jab. When he threw the jab, he was landing it at times, and it was a hard jab. But he needs to be more consistent with the jab. He needs to change the levels with the jab. He needs to change the type of jab. Light jab, quick jab, power jab, double jab, jab hook, etc. There was no variety on the jab. It was really basic. And yeah, he was really relying on power and strength to break down Harry Armstrong. And that's eventually what happened. After rounds two and three... I felt Fisher started to get to get control back of the fight. I felt that Armstrong's offense started to become less and less. He wasn't throwing as many punches. He was being outworked by Johnny Fisher. Uh, Johnny Fisher was landing the harder punches. And in round seven, uh, that was where the fight ended. Johnny Fisher started the fight quite aggressively. Uh, landed a uh, overhand right on Harry Armstrong, like a real looping overhand right. Armstrong went back to the ropes. Johnny Fisher opened up again, tried to throw a left hand that he missed, then came back over the top with a right hand. That drops Harry Armstrong, drops him heavily, he's hurt. Armstrong once again beats the count, shows a good chin. 
But, you know, the shot really did hurt him. And uh, then, you know, the, the referee allowed it to continue. Armstrong then jumps in. Sorry, uh, Fisher jumps in, lands some more clubbing shots, and the referee waves it off. And Harry Armstrong's trainer, Don Charles, also threw in the towel. Um, dropped twice. He had a bad... He also got a cut after that second knockdown. I think for, I think this stoppage was the correct decision. Good learning fight for Johnny Fisher, but ultimately, this guy is a raw novice. Eddie Hearn was describing him as a prospect. To me, a prospect is not just... Um, not every young fighter is a prospect. A prospect, to me, is a guy who I believe has got a good future. I don't see that in Johnny Fisher. He's a strong kid. He's got some sort of power, clubbing power. But in terms of skill, in terms of speed... That sort of thing. I don't really see it with Johnny Fisher. I think they, they're going to have to take a long, long time matching this guy, getting this guy rounds, right fights at the right time, plus the right sparring and right training for this guy to go anywhere. And that's a big ask. So listen, I'm not a big believer in Johnny Fisher. He's a fun fighter. Could he, could he reach British level? I think that's his absolute ceiling. If he reaches British level, then fair enough. But I think that's his absolute ceiling if he does well. But yeah, I actually felt it was quite good to see a Southern Area fight on TV, uh, to be honest. Actually quite a good little fight for what it was. And yeah, as I said, I think Johnny Fisher needs to stay at this level, I'd say probably next year or so, to be honest. And just, again, fight tough guys, get the rounds in, try to improve, you know? But yeah, share your thoughts below, Beanie Guy Delboy, peace.